Hi, everyone. So today we're going to go through automating contract drafting or automating document creations. So we're going to use a tool called All Drafts. You can sign up for the 30-day free trial. And then if you don't like it, I can always suggest something else. So first things first, um, you can simply copy and paste from an already existing document. So this is a retainer agreement that I got from a PDF and I copied and pasted it here. And All Drafts will automatically format everything for you. So you don't have to worry about that or you can use the already existing template. So if you go to all templates here, they have a bunch of different templates that you can choose from, and then their community, and then the all drafts team also uploads templates from time to time. So you can also do that. The third option you have is using the AI drafting assistant. So if you click drafting assistant here, you can ask AI to draft the outline. And then once you have the outline, you can use the clause bank and the templates to fill out the document. Then once you have the document in place, because um, the document had the client's personal information, you can go to tools and then redact facts. And so if you click redact facts, um, all drafts will remove your client's um, information. So all their personal information will go through the entire document and remove the client's information. And where the client's information is where these um, fields now are. So what you can do is um, where you had the client's information, you can just turn those sections into fields. So to create a field, you simply highlight, insert, click field. And then you can say, call the field um, format, uh, field name. Let's just give it the same name. And then you can determine what type of data you want to collect. So is it text, number, date, time, ETC? And you can also have uh, questions or descriptions along with um, creating the fields. So you go through the contract, add those fields. So the fields is where the different clients' information will be. So it's the only difference with these NDAs um, or retainer agreements. It's always typically um, personal information of the clients, and that's what you'll create the fields for or um, other information that may differ from client to client or team member if it's, a say, it's an employment agreement, whatever it is. And... Um, what you can also do is add these instructions along the way so that um, it saves time when the client's filling out details. And so if you click insert and you scroll down to instruction, you can add instructions or comments and they'll hi highlight in green. Um, if it's to a team member, it will highlight in blue. If it's to a counterparty, it will highlight in um, red. And that's pretty much it. You go through the whole document, add the sections that you want to create, forms, add instructions, and you're good to go. Next thing you do is you share. So you can share again to a team member, a client, or you can share to um, a counterparty. Simply add the email address here, and then you determine what you want them to do. Do you want them to just view and comment? Do you want them to answer questions, to edit, ETC? You can add a short message right here. And then you select a date um, for deadline. So when should they have filled out the form? And then you can generate a share link that you can add in an email and then share the document. Or you can um, automate that whole process by just clicking done. Once you've put in their email address there, you click done. And uh, this is what your client will see. So if you go to um, question user, this is what your client will see. They won't see the document, but they'll see questions. These are the questions that we used when we were creating the fields to guide the client when they're filling out the information. So date, this is where they would put the date data. This is where they would put numbers, text, formats, ETC. And then once you've clicked submit, um, the document will be generated. All drafts will generate the contract for you and then they'll send it to you via email. And then you have the already printed um, document ready for use. What you can also do is add um, a signature. So there's um, obviously, once you send it to the counterparty and they need to sign it, you simply add um, file, share for signature, and then you can send out the document um, for signing. Or you can add the signature section at the bottom once you've generated the contract as well. All right. Thanks, guys.